So, here is our globe. And it's a 3D globe, right? The program is rendering here. Uh, I'm having it spin here. Now let's zoom in, right? We're flying through space right now. We're gonna fly through space. Now over here we have controls on the top right. You see where my mouse pointer is? Mm -hmm. top right? What I'm gonna do is zoom in by dragging this thing up, right? We're slowly zooming in here. And now we're in the United States. Now, uh, let's move over here to California. Right? So I'm just gonna grab this and drag it over. And this program is very intuitive. When you get your hands on it, it's very fun to play with. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in some more. Coming in closer here, coming in closer. Coming on the bay. I'm gonna find Berkeley here. <laughs> Oakland up there. Mm -hmm. There's Berkeley. There's Berkeley, okay. So what I'm gonna do is double click on Berkeley with this little red icon here. It shows the city college. Yeah, city oh, that's, college. Wow. that's interesting. <laughs> we got that updated. We got the new name on there. Right. Shows this what they think so of us. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, so now we're actually seeing satellite imagery from Berkeley. taken from space of Berkeley. How long ago? Uh, yeah. Usually pretty hard to say how when they updated it. Yeah. So let's move over here and see if we can find the image. I'll stick my hand out the window. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not live. They're, they're not looking at us right now, but they do update it periodically. So, so here's Captain Lee right here. And the cool thing is that uh, there's actually oops, oops. there's little overlays here. Um, so it will show you some pictures that people have taken on the ground. If you see a little camera icon here, you can just click it. And you can see different pictures that people have taken, Aww. which is neat. Yeah. Right. All the different shots people got of the camp immediately mm -hmm. there. Can we zoom in now? There's actually a lot of controls. Uh, you can pan this way. Right? You can... Rotate the whole view. Rotate How are you doing that rotating? Uh, it's all the controls on the top right here. So top. look. You just kind of have to figure these out. Yeah. Uh, this one is rotate, this one's pan, this one's zoom. And my favorite here is to level here. So we can actually... Uh, oh, see uh, <laughs> <laughs> so In some places, <laughs> we actually have the, uh, the data here. So you can see the mountains, ranges. And oh, yeah, and actually, they, they use topographical data for the mountains to get the height accurate. Yeah, I hope the good people that do it. to our rock and things like that, So that's very cool. Now here's some other stuff you can do with uh, who was, right? So we're in Berkeley proper, here's downtown Berkeley. Uh, you see on the top left here, where my cursor is, there's a button that says find businesses. Right? Click on find businesses, right? Uh, say we want Indian food, right? Type in Indian food. We'll say Indian food in Berkeley, right? We'll hit enter. Native American or Indian? <laughs> <laughs> what? Go in Indian, Indian this time. Indian, Indian. Yeah. So if you look now, yeah, each, of these, yeah. Yeah. each of these red dots Vice is Rome. Indian food. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that cool? So uh, hey, can, if we want to go to uh, Namaste or something, or Viceroy, we can just click. It'll give us a phone number. It'll give us a review, a restaurant review here. Uh, it'll give us an address, and we can even get directions to here, right? Oh, so, this is too cool. so we'll hit directions to here, and we'll give a home address. Mm -hmm. So uh, from here, what's what's our address here? Do you know? uh, let's go with our old address on okay. University Avenue, which is twenty two hundred University 2200 Avenue. Twenty two hundred University. I don't know Avenue. if it'll actually find our address on campus okay. perfectly. So. I discovered there's a version of this called uh, with the mapping. Uh, you, I, I haven't actually seen that one, no. And, it, uh, and, the, and the data showed in my computer sharper uh, hmm. than it did uh, through the uh, um, Google Earth interface. Just particularly on the edges. Hmm. It really it so, depends uh, on where you're looking because sometimes the resolution is higher than other areas. Well, that I know, but I mean, that would also be because they're actually feeding off the same database. Interesting. Uh, no, I haven't seen it. It's all from Keyhole and then mm -hmm. all from, uh, from the sat satellite, one particular satellite. Gotcha. Isn't it true with Google that you can get a higher resolution image if you pay them to join their um, um, There are services that let you get higher resolution data from them, yes. Um, if you had reason to want it, yes. Yeah, <laughs> to pay for it. They actually even uh, supply the services to some of the news companies. If you watch some of the news channels, you'll see that they use Google Earth for mm -hmm. the stories. Yeah. And it's obviously better images than you can get yeah. on the PC. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
there was a, there was a sign up. But I was wondering whether you knew what the difference was. No, I don't particularly. But uh, you know, I'm sure there's lots of alternatives to Google Earth. This is the one we're going with because it's the most common and it's the most proven, and it's Mac and PC, so it's it's platform uh, cross compatible, right? But as you've seen, uh, we can find businesses, we can get directions, we can just zoom around. I mean, you can go to you know all the cities, you know, your imagination, right? If you want to see uh, the Dome of the Rock, if you want to see Rome, or if you want to see you know anything really, you can zoom in on street level, you know, see what's going on, you get a lot of data. So it's a very uh, very cool program. Now, one funny thing you might find interesting is a lot of governments are uncomfortable with Google Earth. Oh, I bet. Because their sensitive oh, yeah. military yeah. sites are not visible to anyone. China, yeah. Yeah. Especially China. So, uh, there's actually been some uh, interesting developments there. Some, some governments have come to Google and demanded wow. that they lower the resolution of the images so they can't do any military reconnaissance. Well, our, our government, too, did yeah. has this blurred out. So, there, there are actually uh, many places that are sensitive where if you zoom in, you won't get quite the same level of detail. Yeah. Yeah, as you will in Berkeley, which is cool. But you can have purple line the directions. That's, that's, good. that's how we get uh, from our old location to the Viceroy restaurant. Yep. Now, Sammy wanted to go from uh, from New York, New York. <laughs> you, you can still get those directions. If you weren't across the country road trip, you would still get oh, that. That's a long way to go for yeah. Indian food. Uh, <laughs> for Indian food? Yeah. Yeah, quite a long way. But, yeah, so it's a very... And we can actually, uh, we can make the trip if you like. Oh, it'll, it'll actually run the whole route for you. Oh, so you can see what you can't see. You can turn right. So again, very. Yeah. Would you have a uh, uh, um, directional um, um, listing for uh, getting from one place to the other? Driving like left, right. And that kind yeah. Of thing. yeah, yeah. It certainly oh, gives oh, you those yeah, directions yeah. in the yeah. section here. Is it under here. route? Is it under route? Yeah, it's uh, right where my cursor is. Oh, okay. Turn right at Hudson Street. I'll tell you. I'll just run to that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so it's a very, very versatile program, and I mean, I can show you tons of this stuff, but I think you got the general idea here.